Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this. The reason I am making this video is the reason I'm making this video, which sounds really stupid, and it is, but today I picked up my new medications, gabapentin slash neurontin and prednisone. And on my way back, I started taking the gabapentin and the prednisone. Now, I'm only taking one gabapentin a day for like two days and then increasing the dose up to like three or four per day. And so it's going to take a while for the therapeutic effects to kick in. But they did warn me that I could be a little loopy because of this. Now, I was on gabapentin like God, 20 years ago. And I was on it for a couple of years, and I can't remember what it feels like at all. And with the prednisone, I have been taking that as well. The gabapentin is supposed to make a little sleepy, a little loopy. The prednisone is supposed to give you energy. I fell asleep for hours here because I was able to sleep. Now they warn you, the prednisone will give you energy. Now, that, again, is one of the reasons I'm making this video right now. I just got back from a walk because I actually have energy and less pain. And so I went for a walk. Thumbs up for that. Now, the thing is, prednisone gives you energy like caffeine gives you energy. Now, what I mean by that is... Your body uses X amount of energy that comes in for its own use, leaving you, say, you know, 40 units of energy for you to use for your own purposes. And then of that, one third of that goes into sleeping. So you have two thirds of that to use as regular daytime energy, and one third of that gets converted into sleep energy by a natural hormone, adenosine. Because you have adenosine receptors in your body, and the more adenosine fills those receptors, the more tired you get. It converts your normal energy into sleep energy until finally that two-thirds of normal energy is gone. You only have that one-third of sleep energy left. When you drink caffeine, it fills those receptors so the adenosine can't go into them and make you tired. It can't convert your daytime energy into sleepy time energy. So instead of two-thirds daytime energy and one-third sleepy time energy, it gets pushed to 75% daytime energy and only 25% sleepy time energy. You're not getting energy you're just converting your sleep time into awake time so if you push that yeah you're gonna suffer because now you're missing out on your sleep and that's gonna hurt so this is working the same way with me right now of the energy that I have X amount is going to pain response so of those 40 units of energy that I would normally have, say 60% of that is going to pain response, leaving me with just 40% energy of my normal daytime stuff to do things. And I'm exhausted all the time because of so much going into pain response. Today, I have more energy from the prednisone, but it's not that I have more energy, even though it could stop me from sleeping. Not because there's more, but it's taken that 60% pain response and 40% normal and turned it into 40% pain response. So I've got 60% use. It's not that it's given me energy. Is just converted pain response energy back into you can do things with your life energy which when you've been down from pain response loss feels really incredible and bouncy 
it's nice to have that energy back. Of course, if you over push, then yeah, you're going to have extra pain response if you overuse that part that had been hurting. So I've been trying to be very careful, but I've had so much extra energy that I made that shorts video and now I'm talking about it now because as much as having all this extra energy is nice the part that I really like is it's actually lowered the pain and that is nice it has been horrific since the very moment this started like at the beginning of this month i can't even remember it has been so long like three weeks and more so having less pain even for a short amount of time is awesome the prednisone is only for seven days, and today is the greatest amount that I take, and then it tapers off day by day after that for a full week, which is good. I've talked about prednisone before. As a medication, it's wonderful, but as a steroid, you will retain fluids. You will retain fluids around your face so that your face swells up and becomes much more circular and spherical. So there are side effects that aren't just cosmetic because it's not good for you to be retaining fluids either. So you got to not take it for a long time. So hopefully bringing inflammation down is going to really, really help. That will be good. And then the gabapentin, I'm hoping that that helps as well. So that would be a definite thumbs up. I do feel a little bit loopy, but that I was warned about, and with the extra energy and such, yeah, I can understand. And then on my walk, I also did smoke uh, a couple pre-rolls, and I've been feeling more of the cannabis in a relaxation physical effect than just fighting the pain and leaving nothing for anything else. So it's Nice to actually have a pleasant, psychoactive, feeling good about things effect from cannabis as well as pain fighting. I hope everybody has a very, very good day. I am going to try my best to have a good night. I'm going to have to take some uh, Benadryl, uh, generic version Benadryl, to sleep tonight. I'm not going to take any more prednisone, and I'm going to save that for tomorrow, so thumbs up. I hope you have a good day. I'm going to do my very best, and tomorrow, well, hopefully things will continue to go good. So, take care, and uh, I will see you. Of course, now i got to move the mouse pointer over to the stop recording button. Yay! Thumbs up for that. <laughs>